Here at Chrome Unbox, we operate in two similar yet pretty distinctly different worlds. One of those worlds is this one here where we're making videos about new products and unboxing stuff. But the other one is over on the website at chromeunbox.com. And if you've never heard of it, I'd advise you to go over and check it out. We get to delve into stuff that we don't generally make videos about, like new features and tips and tricks and upcoming devices and how we dig through the repositories to find all those. And we save that stuff for the website because it kind of gets in the weeds a little bit. But because of the season that's coming up, in the next probably two to three months, we're expecting to see an absolute onslaught of new Chrome OS devices. And since that's the case, I wanted to go over how we find some of those devices with you guys here on the YouTube channel and let you know about some of the things that we are expecting to see in the next few months because it looks like it's gonna be a pretty exciting time. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of users, Chrome OS users, Windows users, Mac, iOS, Android, all of them work. They will keep your browsing safe and secure while you're at home or out on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN to get started today. As I said, some of the stuff we get into on the website can get a little bit in the weeds, and I don't really wanna go there here on YouTube, but I want to give you a little bit of insight as to how we go about finding these new devices. And most of it comes from the Chromium repositories, which is a fancy way of saying the open source place where Chromium OS gets developed. And because it's open source and done in the open, when new boards and, and devices get added, you can see them. Anybody can go and look at these codes, and if you wanna dig around enough the way that we do, you can go in there and find quite a bit of information about stuff that's coming down the pipe. One of the most important pieces of info we can get from the repositories is baseboards. And these baseboards are basically, if you think about it, like the center part of a wheel that has spokes coming off of it. There are three of them we're tracking right now, and each one of them is the center part to multiple devices. And so the board itself will have all these features on it, and each spoke, each device that a manufacturer's making can use or not use any of those pieces and so we'll get unique devices out of them but inside of them will all be the same baseboard and so we're able to kind of see one board and know that a slew of devices are coming off of that single board. A perfect example of this is last year we were tracking a baseboard called NAMI and we tracked it and knew that there were going to be a few Chromebooks. We had no idea how many it was going to spawn and devices like the HP X360, the Dell Inspiron, the Lenovo Yoga and multiple other devices that are very similar in build are all from that one NAMI baseboard and it's they're just variations on that same in internal setup. And so one baseboard can end up making multiple devices and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. So the first family of devices we are seeing is under the baseboard hatch and it's similar to NAMI. So it's just kind of a newer version of that baseboard. So we're gonna see kind of the higher end devices come off of this. It's a Comet Lake processor set. So anything from a Core M3 to a Core i5, Core i7, the fanned ones, the non-fanned ones, all that stuff, all that gets encompassed in the same baseboard. And we're seeing like 10 to 12, I think, devices at this point that we are certain of that are getting developed right now on that baseboard. So think devices like the Asus C434 and the HP X360 from last year, those types of devices, these kind of flagship caliber devices. And we know those things are coming. We're expecting to see a handful of them at CES in January and through the next few months because they've been developed for like nine months at this point. We're expecting to see all of those just start rolling out one after another after another early in 2020. With those devices, you can expect things like high-res displays, fingerprint scanners, pen support, backlit keyboards, all the fancy stuff that you expect from the high-end Chromebooks. As a matter of fact, we're kind of convinced we don't have any firm proof of this, but we're kind of convinced that one of these will probably be the Pixelbook 2, not the Pixelbook Go, but the Pixelbook 2, a real successor to the Pixelbook, because this baseboard has every bell and whistle that we could possibly imagine for a Chromebook moving forward. So basically, if a manufacturer wants to make one that has all the extra stuff, all the things you could think of, hatches the baseboard that they're gonna build that thing off of. The second family of devices is based on a baseboard called Kukui, I think. It's K-U-K-U-I. Um, and this baseboard actually has the MediaTek 8183 processor in it. So it's the follow-up to older Chromebooks that have an older MediaTek processor. It's an ARM-based processor. And most of these devices that we're seeing coming off of this baseboard are almost all tablets or detachables. We're seeing pogo pins and cases, pen support, fingerprint support, all that kind of fun stuff. But we're expecting to see a bunch of ARM-based tablets come from the Kukui baseboard. And 
finally, we have one baseboard on the Qualcomm 845 chip and it's called Cheza. And we've been tracking this thing forever. And last December, Qualcomm actually at their developer summit said, hey, look, we are going to have Qualcomm Chromebooks, plural, out by the end of 2019. Well. We're at the end of 2019 and we haven't seen those yet. So whether they show up or get announced in the next couple of weeks or they show up at CES, we're pretty confident we'll start seeing those also arrive in the first quarter of 2020. And again, these have all the bells and whistles along with that Snapdragon 845 processor, which will easily be the most powerful ARM processor we've ever seen in a Chromebook. And we're talking pen support, fingerprint readers, detachable stuff, tablet type things. So that's a pretty exciting development as well. Now I've just thrown a ton of different words at you and baseboards and Chromium repositories and all that kind of stuff. What you need to know from all this is that we are keeping a very close eye on the development of new Chromebooks and Chromebook tablets and detachables and all that kind of stuff so that you can be better informed on knowing whether it is you should or shouldn't buy a Chromebook or whether you should wait for the next thing to come out because right now we're in a rare season where within probably eight weeks from now, maybe 12 weeks, we are going to see an absolute slew of new Chromebooks and they're exciting looking Chromebooks, stuff that detaches and tons of pen support, and tons of fingerprint readers and different light sensors and, and all kinds of bells and whistles that we haven't yet seen on Chromebooks existing right now. So it's an exciting time to be a Chrome OS fan. And I think if you're not absolutely sold on having to have a new device right now, I know it's Christmas time and all that kind of stuff, but if you're not sold on having to have one right now, there might be an incentive to wait until the beginning of next year in 2020 because there is a ton of stuff getting ready to come out. We're excited about it. We hope you're excited about it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit the subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be notified when we make further videos just like this one. Until next time, guys. We'll see you.